Now again, 80% of our immune system is in our gut. If you don't hear that, those are my dogs barking. I apologize. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Jawad. If you're new to my channel, thank you for watching. If you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button down below and right next to it, do me a favor. Just punch that bell notification because when I upload videos like this, you'll be first to be notified when I do. If you're watching on Facebook, thank you very much. If you find, again, if you find this information right here useful, please share with a friend and also hit the like button. I always appreciate a growing audience. Thanks for watching. Enjoy. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Juwan. In this short video, I'm going to talk about a phenomenal amino acid. Actually, 60% of it's stored in skeletal muscle tissue. And it's the most abundant amino acid used by the body. And actually, a little bit of background about glutamine. Bodybuilders and fitness enthusiasts have been using this amino acid for decades. Why? Because the bodybuilding industry, the fitness industry, what do they mainly do? They break down their body, intense exercise, intense training, stress, calorie restriction. So the main thing about L-glutamine, it's phenomenal for brain health as well as muscle recuperation. And I recommend it to my patients, not only, not only the, the ones who exercise, okay, but also the ones who just need something for muscle recuperation, whether no matter what age is it, okay? Now L-glutamine, most common amino acid utilized in the skeletal muscle tissue. Now it's phenomenal for the brain because L-glutamine is a precursor for two main neurotransmitters for brain health. One, I always say it's the accelerator, L-glutamate, and then the braking system, GABA aminobutyric acid, which is, well, the brake, it's GABA. So L-glutamine glutamine is a precursor for GABA and glutamate. Now, what's important is that, yes, if it, if it becomes unbalanced, okay, if you have too much glutamate in your brain, okay, it will cause neuro damage, okay? So this is where supplementing with L-glutamine, okay, will help, I always say help with that teeter-totter, help stabilize the GABA and the glutamate balance for brain health, okay? Now, why would you become deficient in it? You become deficient in it if you exercise a lot. For people who are exercise enthusiasts, and or who are just trying to exercise beyond, again, beyond the limit, and they have muscle soreness. Diet, poor diet. Now remember, L-glutamine, it's an amino acid. So as it, again, amino acids are the basic building blocks, of pro, building blocks of protein. So if you're an athlete or training or you have a poor diet, okay, you're not gonna supply yourself, your body with sufficient amounts of L-glutamine for, for your overall health. Burn victims, okay, burn victims, rec I've, I've heard countless studies, I've read countless studies where burn victims, they give them L-glutamate. Why? Because it helps with muscle recuperation. Autoimmune disease, people have autoimmune disease, yes. L-glutamate is gonna be powerful, why? Because it's gonna help preserve the muscle, the muscle mass and the muscle tone and the overall function of the muscle, okay, the, whether it be smooth muscle or skeletal muscle, when you have an autoimmune disease. Stress, whether it be physical stress, mental stress, whatever stress, L-glutamine is good for the immune system. So when you're stressed out, when cortisol levels fluctuate, when cortisol levels go high, it lowers the immune response, okay? So this is why with times of stress, you're more open for sickness. So supplementing with L-glutamine will help balance that out. Now again, there's many benefits of L-glutamine. There's just a handful of them. One, protein synthesis. It's good for muscle growth. Again, these are the people who exercise or just, again, who are just working out and or muscle diseases. Regulation of the acid-base balance. It's good for kidney health. Again, your stress glands, the adrenal glands sit on top of the kidneys. The aldosterone system helps with the balance of the acid-base system to, make, to balance out the pH of the, of the body. So glutamine is going to help with that. Provides oxidate fuel for the intestines and the immune system. Now, glutamine is phenomenal for the lymphocytes, for the enterocytes, for, for, again, for your immune response because 80% of your immune system, where is in your gut? So if you have poor gut health, yes, glutamine will help that. Improves, which again, is roll over, helps improve GI health. 
If you have IBS, Crohn's, ulcerative colitis, leaky gut, it also helps balance out the mucus production. So if you have bouts of diarrhea or constipation or any of that nature, yes, leaky gut is going to help balance out that mucus production. Boost brain health. Why? Because L-glutamine is a precursor for L-glutamate. L-glutamate is going to pick the brain up. Also, too, it's going to help balance out with GABA. Helps burn fat. Why? Because it helps suppress insulin levels and stabilize your old lovely blood glucose levels. Again, you don't, so you don't have hyperglycemic to hypoglycemic with the cortisol release. It's going to help stabilize the blood sugar. This is phenomenal for, again, type 1 diabetics, type 2, or people who have insulin resistance, or people who just want to burn fat for fuel. Now, again, I always say, first and foremost, fix the diet. If you want to fix your body, let's fix the diet first. So what type of foods, what type of foods do you need to, uh, to incorporate? Bone broth. Bone broth is loaded, loaded in glutamine. Chinese cabbage, asparagus, turkey, grass-fed beef, cottage cheese, loaded in L-glutamine, venison, deer meat, and wild-caught fish, particularly cod and salmon. Again, remember, because L-glutamine is amino acid, which is the basic building blocks of protein, okay? So what would happen if you have low levels of L-glutamine? Not only are you going to feel you're going to have a weak immune system, but again, it's good for the short and long-term memory. It's good for brain health. You'll have anxiety, insomnia, You'll have, again, poor digestion, bloating, constipation, diarrhea. Why? Because uh, glutamine provides the oxidative fuel for the intestines and the immune system. Diet's real hard to get to, it's hard, hard to correct, okay? And you can't be very methodical in it. I always recommend supplementation. Supplementation, you hear my dog, sorry. Supplementation, guys! So, or you're gonna, I always recommend supplementing. Now, supplementing, you wanna take in a powder form. I always recommend a powder form. And you wanna take five grams twice a day. Okay, on an empty stomach because it is amino acid. If not, you can just put in your protein shake. Either way, the best absorbed is on an empty stomach. You also wanna incorporate vitamin B12. Vitamin B12 is gonna be, is gonna help to prevent a buildup in L glutamine in your system, all right? So again, I hope this helps. L-glutamate, I'm sorry, glutamine, sorry, amino acid. It's good for overall body health, brain health, GI health. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please share with a friend. And if you have any comments, write them down below. I do answer them. Be good. Thank you.